Today I'm going to talk about Pyropod with Solar Roof, which is an innovative ecosystem that is featured with three ends native and natural for nature. Special thanks go to Richard Nelson, a native Canadian inventor of Solar Roof, an eco-friendly and super efficient technology that relies mainly on the sun to power everything. Here is a picture of Richard with his wife Geraldine. When we go outside, we see in nature that it is natively natural, stable, and gorgeous. Nature has taken a long time to perfect herself to be beautiful in every way. Here is how nature works on the Earth. We have the sun up there to power the circulation of water. Water on the Earth's surface changes to its vapor state through evaporation. The water in the soil can also get into the atmosphere through a process called transpiration. The water vapor forms clouds in the sky and moves around. The water in the clouds condenses itself in the form of rain or snow. Then water returns to its liquid state on the surface or soaks into the ground. Lakes and rivers form this way and the process goes on and on solely with the power of the sun. As a result, the Earth becomes a gigantic and living ecosystem on the move and in action nourishing all living beings in the sky, on the earth, and in water. As long as we know the sun is so far the only source of energy for the earth and the entire solar system. This is the energy that powers everything and puts everything in action. What is the medium the sun is using to do all the work? Yes, you get it right, water. Mainly nothing else but water, and we have water on three levels, as vapor in the sky, in the form of liquid snow or ice on the Earth's surface, and as filtered fresh water in the ground. It is a common sense that water is the best thermal mass to contain the solar energy in the form we call heat. Let's get deeper into solar thermal energy and the thermal mass of water. Here are four infrared imaging maps for a typical Chinese greenhouse. As you can see clearly that on a clear day with the sun not being blocked by any cloud, the hottest spot is at the peak of the greenhouse, as the solar heated air becomes lighter and rises to the top and stay there. After sunset on a clear night, we start to see solar heat loss. As a result, the warm zones get lowered and close to the ground. On the occasion of both cloudy day and cloudy night, the ground becomes the hottest zone. Why? because the water in the ground gives it the highest capacity as thermal battery to store the heat that comes from the sun when we have the net solar gain. From these heat distribution maps, you can also see that the north wall plays minor role in storing solar heat. Why again? Because it contains less humidity than in the ground. As simple as that. This is why we bring water into our pod, a lot of water, to mimic the earth in nature. By the way, pyropod literally means fire in pod. We proactively use the water to store the solar thermal energy during the day when we have the sun. Once the solar gain ends at night after sunset, heat loss takes over. Now two factors become critical. One, what is the heat storage capacity of the thermal mass? And two, how good is the insulation property of the greenhouse cover? We've already discussed the role of water as thermal mass. Now the question is, how to drastically boost the insulation property? Well, nature knows it too well. We need to pay attention. The spittle bug breathes in air and drinks sap from plants. It adds protein in the mixture and increases the surface tension of water. So when the protein-contained mixture of water and air comes out, it is bubbling, and a lot of bubbles are generated this way. We do the same in our pyropod as in nature. We use bubbles to combine both the water-based solar and air-based solar as one integrated system. We call it bubble solar. Then the synergy of the two is the greatest. In pyropod, we use soap solution to blow bubbles, a lot of them, to fill the double layer cavity. This way, our pod is highly insulated by these bubbles. Compared to water in its liquid form, bubbles are the relatively dispersed form of water. So this makes them easier than before to take in as much solar thermal energy as possible. As a result, bubbles combined with water thermal mass make Pyropod the smartest design and answer the two critical questions we asked earlier. To move one step further, Richard and Aubrey have designed this Pyroflot, which is literally a floating lot to build your flood-proof dream home. 
It can be directly placed in a lake or be buried in ground with gravels and sands. This way, when the flood truly comes, pyroflot can be uplifted from the ground and float around to avoid being damaged.